Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to another Landlord Super episode. Actually, let me check my stats. Um, bowels all good. Yeah, okay, we're all good on the stats. It's oh, it's raining. Oh god. Any mail? No, nothing. Yikes. Horrible. Okay, that. Mm, actually, I'm trying to work out what to do today. Um. Actually, I did have an idea about these. I want to test something. I want to test something. I want to get this uh, shovel, and I'm wondering if... I might try on a few. I'm wondering if, if we pump these in the skip, will the game not respawn them back in my garden? Because <laughs> if I move them in the garden, it always seems to put them back. But maybe if we put them in there, I genuinely don't know what it's going to do. I can't, it's not going to sell them because it, when you look at them it says useless, but maybe at the end of the day it'll take them away and get them out of the garden. Although part of me wonders if these might be useful for something. Like giant boulders like this. If I could just position them in the garden, we can make a nice rockery or a greenery or something. I don't know. Um, right, what do we want to do? We need to get some money. We're kind of skinned. Look, 30 quid. Nothing. Let's go this way. It's a hygiene on, energy's fine. Let's go this way and see if we can get some scrap on the, um, you know, the bit near the church and, and get some money. Uh, alternative to that, I guess, is to go and wash dishes for a bit. Uh, I did notice, what did it say this? It was in the notebook somewhere. It said it was what time of year it was. Uh, is it the notes? Yeah, look, uh, autumn... I don't know if that's number one or one autumn, I don't know. Autumn 1983, which implies that we're going into winter, which could be... I don't know what the game does in winter, but that could be nasty. It could might get cold or something in the game. What's that worth? Well, there's not a lot here, is there? Yikes. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a TV. That's worth, like, 20 or something. 20 quid for that. It's 12.50 so far. Let's grab this. That's a quick 20 quid. Um, what are these? Breeze box. Bricks. They look like breeze box to me. We may need them later. I think maybe our house needs some breeze block on it. I don't know what, what it's like where you live, but in the UK, most houses have like a brick outer wall, and then uh, there's a gap for insulation, and then they have a breeze block, which is like a, a cheaper brick. It's a bigger, it's like a grey brick, and it's more porous, and it's mostly kind of designed for insulation and then on that you either well they used to plaster it onto that um nowadays i think they just put they just put plasterboard on it but yeah back in the 80s would have definitely been still using breeze block i think it's still used commonly in construction uh how much for this 20 quid gives a deek in our pets gives a deek 20 quid can he do that sounds fine there you go Right, we've now got 40, 50 quid. I was thinking about buying a work light. There's a scooch over here. Um, let's go in the shop. I was thinking about buying a work light because uh, when we were doing that brick wall over there, night time, it was... It was it actually wasn't even night time, was it? It was very hard to see what it was doing. Let's have a flick through here, see what we might want. Okay, we've got the hammer, we've got the trowel, spanner, used for plumbing and scaffolding. Plumbing, interesting. Flathead screwdriver used for securing windows and doors. Okay, we don't need any of those yet. Uh, we have the sledgehammer and the shovel. Break old fences. What does that say? Lit to strike violently. What does that mean? Shovel. Smooth concrete surfaces. Bury away unsightly pipes. Great for moving soil, sand, concrete. Bury away unsightly pipes. Hmm. Buckets. Don't need the disc cutter yet. There you go. The tripod work light. self sounding tripod frame, trip with double head, blah, blah, blah. Let's get one of them. I think they'll be useful. That's a big order, so I've placed it outside. Okay. Paint brush there. We don't, we're not into painting yet. All of that can wait. That's just spent their profit. Whoa! Flipping heck, that's a work light. Hang on. Look at the size of this. Can you actually... You bring it down. Oh, okay. How many positions does it have? Oh, right. So you can't. Maybe you can hold it down. No. 
It looks like it's either high or low position. What else have we got? Ooh. Okay, so you can go up and down. Oh, this is cool. How do you turn it on? Wow, that's actually really... That's really handy. Look at that. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's going to come in super handy. Let's turn this off. It doesn't appear to have any battery on it. Um, also, something else I find out I want to show you. Watch this. If you, if you pick this up, if you pick an item up, and this is weird, but kind of makes sense, you can get on the bus with it. So if I walk over to this thing, and I click on the bus timetable, and I go back to Lakeside, whatever I've got on me, I keep. Which... I didn't, like, I literally found that by accident. I was clicking on something, and I went to the bus station. I was like, whoa, hang on a minute. Can I get on the bus in this thing? What the heck? Okay, that's, that's a bit weird. Right, so we'll put that there. Um, let's see, sledgehammer. I was thinking about, possibly... You know that wall we built for Thames in? I was kind of thinking about knocking it down with the sledgehammer. But at night, because something occurred to me. Remember when you said, when she said about the job, about building a wall, something like unlimited earning potential. I'm wondering if there's a clue there. I'm wondering if that was like a hint that if if her wall should happen to be knocked down again, we'd have to rebuild it. However, last time she paid us in like a cassette thing, um, which wasn't particularly handy, because like a cassette thing is worth no money and we'd have to probably buy bricks like if we smash the wall with a with a sledgehammer i'm guessing that's going to cost money to replace because the bricks will be in pieces oh, that's not very handy we should have a bit more control over this kind of dropping things in like it always drops things vertically look it's a little bit frustrating um is that worth 25 pence Ugh. Need some high-value ticket items. That's what we need. Also, I'm wondering if the scrap comes back at some point. Right, now, if we do the old trick of drop it, grab... No, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Hang on, let me just get lucky with this again. There we go. If we can drop it and then immediately grab the handles of the... Uh, there we go, we got it. So I can't see where we're going, but we've got some stuff locked in. Because as soon as you grab hold of the handles, it locks everything that's in the wheelbarrow. You just can't see a thing. So we might get run over. But if I do the old uh, serpentine thing, I just listen out for cars. Vaguely follow the road. Can't. Oh, God, I can hear something. Oh, it's, it's the flies. Apparently, oh, because we're in the tip. We're unhygienic again. I also need to repair number nine's floor as well. I need to do that. I have to bring the cement mixer back here and uh, sort that out. Yeah, I don't think Tamsin's going to let me in the pub because I absolutely stink. Oh god, where's the left turn? Here it is. He's here somewhere, isn't it? There he is. There he is. Uh, right, there we go. Yo! Oh. See that water tree? Put that bar. Put that bar. Rag and bone man, as he used to call them. There we go. Right, move the wheelbarrow, because I don't want to sell that, and I don't know if you will buy it, but I don't want to risk it. So we'll put that there. I'm not sure if that's in place or not, to be honest. Right, let's see what he says. Right. Cool, you smell worse than my feet. Great <laughs> work, kid. Got any scrap? How much for all this? Gives a deep, then. £3.60? What? What? I'm sure the sofa was more worth... Hang on a minute. Not in Sheffingham, you cheeky radgy gadgy. <laughs> what? No, that's worth 12.50. Hang on, let me... Maybe... Maybe we need to do that separately. Let's try that. Come on, three pounds sixty. Right. Okay. So it wasn't, it wasn't registering the sofa then. Maybe. 
Is it because I placed it and didn't drop it? Let's just drop it. So, see if he gets it now. That's a bit weird. How much for all this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. There you are, 12 50. It must be because I placed it and not dropped it onto his mat. It's a bit, bit of a weird one, but okay. Uh, so, wheelbarrow, do you need that for anything right now? Or should we just leave it here? Um, let's leave it here because I think. Oh, no, I'll probably take it back. Because I think we have to bring some sanded cement this way. So let's click on that. Let's do that. I need to get a shower. She's not going to talk to us without getting a shower. Um, I'd like to order some bricks and get working on that wall as well. A wall here. Just jump in the shower. That's better. No, we don't need shower gel. It's fine. Oh, there's a tiny little bar of soap though. I guess we're using that. Okay, right. What time is it? Half past one. I'm going to go into town and we'll do some dishes because I need to get some money quickly. And that's probably the easiest way of doing it. And also, because we'll go to night time and then uh, we'll... That's, well, Tamsin's wall will have an accident. I don't know. Hey, Tamsin, there's a chair falling over here, you know. Did you know about that, that chair, Tamsin? No? Yes? I'm not sure if you knew about that chair or not. Anyway, I need to go around the back of the the uh, bar, don't I? There we go. Right then. Oh no, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh god, why did you teleport me? Need to go that way. Right, let's see what we can do. 1459 energy. 20%? Oh god. Uh, that's not good, is it? That's not good. I should have come here first thing in the morning. Uh, okay, let's tire ourselves out. <sighs> if, we'll be lucky if we can walk to the bus stop now. Those dishes were so dirty, Tamsin. I'm so tired. See you later. If I don't pass out on the way home. What are we on? 0.7%. <laughs> let's see if we can make it to bed. 0.7, yeah, we'll be fine. If I start sprinting, though, we'll probably pass out. Right, let's get some rest. <sighs> and it's still raining. Right, hygiene 90%. See, if you, this is the problem. It's like you wake up at 8 a.m., you have no choice in the matter, and it doesn't open for like another four hours. Which is a real problem. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Going to order some bricks. Yeah, we've got money. Let's get some bricks ordered. Uh, let's see. Building supplies. Brick. Ooh, Red Victoria or Red Leicester? Hmm. Is that one cheaper? Red Victoria or Red Leicester? Six pounds a pallet difference. 144 bricks per order. Eight orders maximum. And there's your breeze block, a lot cheaper. Uh, I guess, I guess we get the cheap ones. We don't need posh bricks particularly, do we? What else do we like to need? Don't need any boards yet, I don't think. Small ladder. Actually, a small ladder would be useful, but I think we can nick one. A work platform. Now, that could be useful. Reclaimed SML. Reclaimed med. Oh, I see. Timber. Yeah, this is all the tarred and untarred stuff. That's the normal tiles. That's the curved tiles for the ridge. When we get to do the roof. Doors. We need to think about the colour of the door we want. Windows. Plasterboard. Blimey. Okay. Uh, it's all loaded and ready. We'll be with you within the hour. He says. Oh... Hang on. We need our, um... I need to leg it back to town. We need the forklift thingy. So we can actually lift this thing up. Otherwise, we'll have to unload it. Um, probably brick by brick. And I don't really fancy that with 144 bricks. Thank you very much. Is there anything we can take on the way, I wonder? Not really. I think there's a bit near the canal that I've not explored. There might be some useful scrap around there. What's this? 
two quid. Might as well get paid two quid. I mean, two quid doesn't sound a lot, or two pounds. Um, but when you consider the bus costs ten pence, uh, seems to be stuck on the ground. When the bus only costs ten pence, it gives you an idea of the value. I mean, this is more than a pint of beer, which you know, I'll take it. Can we get that way as yes, we can. Oof! I don't recommend that to you, bro. Hurt my ankle, then, Potter. Totter, even. Potter. Harry Potter. He looks a bit like Harry Potter. Just put some glasses on him. You got a little Z there. You got a little thing going on. There we go. Ah, oh, cheeky two quid. Maybe that's Potter, you know. Harry Potter. I think the, um... Yeah, there's the forklift thing. I just want to have a quick look around the back here. There's a... Ah. Oh, ah. Ah. I remember now. Yeah. I'd brought all that stuff here, didn't I? I thought we got a full bucket of proper water as well. Like proper water, not none of the uh, self-made water. And there's a tap here. Do we need that? It's all ready to pour into, do you think? It looks like it's all boarded, doesn't it? Okay, let's get this back home before he disappears on us. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind taking a ladder as well. Okay, we can only do one thing at a time. I could just go and take the bus, but frankly... By the time I've pushed this thing around to the bus and clicked on the bus, it's probably just as quick coming this way. Dude, can I lift you up? <laughs> Apparently not. You know that car that just went past looked like an old Ford Escort? Or is it more of a Cortina? No, an Escort. The Ford Cortina was the one that they used to use in the professionals, Bodie and Doyle. If you remember that show in the 70s. That was a Ford Cortina. I think. Now ah, you've got me wondering. Yeah, it was. I think. Hmm. Anyway, let's get some bricks done. There he is. Right, now then, how do we do this then? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go. You done unloading cargo? I'm finished, you can go now. No, not yet. Hang fire just a little longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, up, <coughs> stop your mithering then, cocker. Oh my god. So, mithering, I don't know if you're aware of this word, and it's an apostrophe at the end because it's a G. Mithering means like nagging, like pestering him in, an, in that kind of way. And cocker. For some reason, I don't know why, but in Northern England, older, older blokes would used to call younger lads either cocker or cock, which sounds very strange, doesn't it? But that's just what they used to say. It's a weird one. Right, how do we get this? Okay, so it looks like... <coughs> Interestingly, that doesn't... That, that strap is holding the bricks on the pallet in a weird way because... You'd have to shrink wrap that. But the whole thing's not being held. Oh, God. I can imagine. This is going to be like Master Macar glitchy physics right here. I can feel it. Right. First thing is we're going to get the right height. We've got to get the right liner. <coughs> you hear that cough? That's because I had cigarettes. Apparently, in the game, if you have cigarettes, your character starts to cough. And the more you do it, the worse it gets. Uh, this is going to be so tricky to line up and if I get it wrong you bet we're going to have bricks everywhere How's that? <coughs> that looks pretty good from what I can work out not that far forward to go though I have to come down a little touch <gasps> no you gumbo game what the heck oh Oh my god! As if! <laughs> I literally like clicked to just raise it a touch and it just threw the whole thing. Oh my god. I can't even like push that. Oh man. What a disaster. And it's gone on its side as well. I can move it. But I can't. There's going to be no way flipping this over, is there? I'm going to have to tell him to drive away, I think. 
I knew this would be glitchy. Oh, God. I just heard the woods now. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you can go now. Yeah, yeah Winston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finished, mate. Drive away. It's not like the bricks are under your axle. But you, you head yeah, out, yeah, mate. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Well, all right. If that's if that's how that works, yeah. Okay. Makes sense, right? You know, pallet of bricks, axle, yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, I wonder if I can raise the thing and flip it over somehow. <gasps> that really works. Yeah, boy. Look at that legend. Right. <laughs> can I actually get underneath it now? That's the question. How how far underneath? don't think I've got the elevation, though. I can't go down anymore with the forks. That's not really getting underneath, is it? Look. Like, it won't, it won't go down anymore, and I can't... How do you tilt it? There's no way of tilting it, is there? Can I get in from this side? This shouldn't be so difficult. I mean, I could just push it over there. Oh, hang on. It's worked. We got underneath. I don't know how, but we got underneath. Oh, forgot about the wheelbarrow. Right. You stay there, and I'll just give you a quick nudge. I think. Can I give you a quick nudge? There we go. All right, that'll do. That's fine. It's not in the way. We can access the water point just about, I think. Actually, let's just, just push it over a, just a touch more. There. Like a glove. Okay, I won't unpack it yet because I can still move it around. I think if I unpack it, that's when I can access the bricks because I can't access the bricks yet. And also, it didn't get damaged while it was a single unit, which is pretty interesting. Now, I'm looking at this and... Those, I saved it, didn't I? Because I, I slept. And those rocks didn't come back in here, did they? Aha! So that is how it works. Right, let me get the shovel. Let's do this. This actually tires you out really quickly. That's the, that's the problem with it. Like carrying giant boulders. You just watch that energy level go down. It's also very sweaty work. <coughs> and you can't see what you're doing. Yeah, so anyway, the forklift, which is the world's glitchiest, jankiest thing ever, as you just saw, now we've found what the use is. It's basically <coughs> just to unload the truck. So we can't, unfortunately, I can't just put a pallet of wood on it and use it to carry loads of things, which would be, you know, well, incredibly useful. But at least we can sort the garden out. I wonder how we flatten the holes in the garden. I think it said <coughs> you could use the shovel for that. <coughs> okay, you can't really throw that very far. That's fair enough. Uh, oh, God. I really need to move that thing. <coughs> so nice of them to enter the skip for us. We'll have to come in from the other side. <coughs> oh, great. Can't see a bleeding thing. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so that's all the big stuff out the garden. Uh, this, I guess we'll just keep this over here for now. Is there any more stuff around the back? I wonder how you get rid of the weeds. Let me just try this on these holes. Can we do anything with that? Flat and smash. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you just right click on it. <laughs> and it just, yeah, punches holes down and, and, and mystically punches holes up again. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Look. Oh, my guy is so tired. Some of the things this game make no sense. Does that work on a weed then? Oh god, I passed out. I passed out. 
I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to pass out. I'm probably going to get a letter from the doctor again now. How is it still raining? I would have thought being out of the rain would make you a lot less kind of. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the letter from the doctor now. You wait. Um, oh, we've got money for the uh, lumber in the ground. That's interesting. Wait a minute. 12th of March, 1983. And yet the book said it was autumn. What the? That doesn't line up. Remember, keep an eye on your energy levels. Go to bed on time. Drink plenty of fluids. But do not, but not too much fluids. Mr. Abiff, I found you collapsed from exhaustion. You do too much. Please try and take care of yourself. You never know a scallywag is going to go rifle through the pockets of an exhausted person. Do you know what? That I reckon this is a hint. This is a hint that if you do this too much, you're probably going to cost you money because somebody's going to nick your uh, money. I reckon that's a game hint right there. New jobs available. From the job center. Right. Well, you know, we've made a bit of money. We've got a work light, although I left it back in town. We've got a pallet of bricks, and the garden is looking a lot better. So that's good. I think we're going to have to stop there, though, because we're out of time. So I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. Read in your comments. You guys are really enjoying this, which is um, which is awesome. I was going to see if I could smash that. Apparently, I can't. Can I dig it? No, you can't do that either. Uh, which is great to hear. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. Actually, I brought the work light back here, didn't I? Ah, that looks like it's done. Nice and solid. So, yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching the series. Please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Take care, guys. Happy constructing.